to get three free to play units but should also fall under the universe survival saga tag as well which is let's go universe 7 so we're gonna hop in there um i believe uh we should be able to unlock all three of the units so that's what we're going to focus on is unlocking them and then afterwards we're going to be using all three of them online in pvp but um yeah man th this this has been very enjoyable as of right now i mean again my goku is finally in the game it took him forever but he's finally here as a perfect vanish yep i mean that's why i usually don't attack first when it comes down to uh cpus but you know, it is what it is. I'm not really too worried. Again, main thing is just being able to unlock both uh, characters and then going from there. Or not both characters, sorry. Uh, all three characters and then going from there. So, I believe we do have to use each character. Oh, we got Krillin. Alright, which again, it's so cool that they're doing the card art based off of the actual splash screen from Super. That, that fire. I really do like that. Okay, so we got Krillin. Uh, let's see. And now we have to use Krillin. Okay, so... This is what I'll do. Uh, for now, I'll just go and find, like, a random team. Uh, movies. This is also a team I really, really want to use. Um, I'll get rid of Rival Universe. I'm just gonna throw that Krillin on. I don't know if I have to use him and only him. But, uh, this is what I'll do. Take you out. Uh, let's go ahead and reset everything back to Sparking. Go all the way down and throw Krillin in there. And um, I'm not really going to worry too much about boosting Krillin. I'm just going to see if we have to use him or not. So, or not, well, have to use him, but if it's only him that we can use. Which, from what it seems like, no, it's not. Okay, so, I'll have Krillin in there. Uh, we'll just get through real quick, you know, just try to get the units. And then once we get the units, then I'll cut, boost them, and then we'll take them on to PvP. Because I don't want to, like, you know, try to have the event ruin my uh, first impressions of the units. Oh, for what it's worth, I'm definitely getting a uh, first hit off. Okay, and there's that. Yes, Vados. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, so what? With this, we get like. Oh, we still get Krillin. Ah, uh, okay. So I think we focus on Krillin for uh, for now, and then afterwards, then we'll move on to the other units. Makes sense. Uh, I don't know how many battles there are for each character, but uh, again, we'll make it work. So uh, let's see. I I would have needed Jiren, and Jiren's gone. Great. Uh, okay, you, you, and actually, uh, you know what? No, 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 no. Uh, I'll stick with battles. I'll throw you in, then of course you, and uh, we'll make it all work. We'll make it all work. So. Yeah, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the new units. I've seen some people use them against me on PvP. Um, especially uh, the Goku, primarily. And he can really do his thing. You know what I'm saying? He holds his own very, very well. Okay, keep that going. Okay. And wait. That's fine. I mean... It's an event. Like, I significantly doubt the CPU is going to be doing so much damage to the point where I can't take it. So, as long as Bergamo doesn't come in. Okay. Just bring you in. Uh, all the damage. All of it. You're getting rushed. And, of course, you throw him in. So, this rush is, like, completely useless because, like, why? Okay, destroy him, please. Just his flash! Hey, nice and dead. Gone. Okay, just gonna pop this. I'm just trying to end this quickly, because... Yeah. I need you gone. No switching. Stay there. And die. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes. Right, I'm just popping this just to give him the vanish. Or not. Okay, so there's that. Like I said, I don't know how many battles there are for each character, but right now we're taking our sweet and precious time at least trying to get them. So, uh, oh, 200. Come on. 
Two stars? Okay. Okay, yeah, so this is going to take a while. And it, it sucks because, again, I want to unlock the characters and then I want to use them in PvP. But as it as it is right now, and this thing is really, like, wanting me to use a purple unit. What's going on? But um, as it is now, this is uh, going to take a while. But, um, again, like I said, we're just going to get through it, right? We're going to unlock the characters and then we're going to use them on PvP and then go from there. Like, I don't want this event to just, like, you know not get shown off because obviously it's free play units I want people to get. Okay, keep that going. No, and you're dead. Cool. All right. Strike. Vados. Okay. Hey, all the key lasts, all the damage, all of it. Okay, yeah, this one definitely went by significantly faster. And, I mean, to be fair, like, we only fought two units. So, there's that, and, you know, compared to three units that we fought in the last battle. And we're getting a lot of Z-Power for Krillin. Hello. I mean, he's at three stars, which is great. Okay, so this seems to be the one where I really get Z-Power for Krillin, which I, I will uh, re refocus on later on. Okay. Uh, still getting Krillin. Yeah, we're still getting Krillin. What is, hello? Where, where is Tia? Okay, green, red. And then, of course, Krillin, because I have to ring him, so. Yeah, this one should go by probably the fat, or I'm going to say the fastest, because, I mean, the first one went by pretty quick, so. Yeah. Okay, Key Blast just throwing it out. Popping this just to pop. And more Key Blast. Here we go. And strike. Oh, look, you're dead. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this should go by quick. Here we go. Like I said, I mean, we had Elven Factor advantage all the way through, so that's good. It's also weird seeing this because, again, people don't use this bow, like, at, at all. So, yeah. Okay, 500 Z power, that's a lot. Okay, up to four stars. Again, how much more do we have left of Krillin before we actually move on to the next one? Because at this point, I might just... Yeah, at this point, I might honestly just cut until um, we get Tien, and then afterwards cut until we get Goku, because this is definitely taking way too long. Actually, I, I think that's exactly what I'll do. Like, I'll cut until, like, we get, like, each unit respectively. And then afterwards, um, then we'll go into PvP and actually use the units. So, ironically, like, the one that we cut off on was the last one for Krillin. But it's all good because now we get to move on to Tien. Like I said, what we're going to be doing is, uh, you know, just unlocking the characters quickly. And then from there, that's when we're going to um, go and, like, show them off in PvP and all that good stuff. So, Yeah. Like I said, we're going to unlock Tien, afterwards we'll cut here, we'll unlock Goku, then I'll just boost them off screen, and then from there, we'll go into PvP. I don't want this video to last any longer than it needs to, and so far it's been lasting pretty long. Okay. So far so good. Alright, there we go. So, again, the, I mean, first battle is usually very quick and easy. Um, not even an issue to deal with at all. So, yeah, with this, we unlock Tien, which I, I know this card is going to be looking immaculate. 100 Tien. As I said, it looks immaculate. Even though the background is the exact same as Krillin's, apart from, you know, like the green swirls and all that stuff, the art itself is really cool. I'm just wondering why it's so small. You know what I mean? But, um, it is what it is. So, again, we have Tien unlocked, so we'll cut here, unlock Goku, and then head into PvP. All right, so we now made it here, and we should be able to unlock Goku now. So let's go ahead and knock that out quickly. And then, like I said, once we unlock Goku, I'm just going to boost them off screen and then go from there. So uh, I'll bring these guys just in case. I, I don't uh, I don't think there's anything I actually have to do with them, like, initially, like, for, like, the first um, battles each. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it should just be as simple as unlocking him afterwards. I have to worry about, like, um, the challenges and all that stuff later, so... Okay. 
and they should wipe you out. Die! There we go. Nice and dead. Nice and gone. And with that, we got Goku Bowl. All right, it's that time. I'm trying to tell y'all. I've been trying to tell y'all. Yep, battle one Goku. And he's unlocked. Again, clean art. Very clean art. I just don't know why the initial, like, art is small. But it is what it is. But still, there's that. So, we unlocked Goku. Uh, oh, what, what's this? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'm definitely going to be doing the off-screen because they're not even fully boosted yet. So, again, like I said, um, I will finish boosting the rest of the characters off-screen now. And then when we come back, we're just going to start PvP. And we're back. So, I did get everybody boosted. They're all up to 10 stars, which is really, really good, actually. So, we're going to hop into PvP, and we're going to be using them on Universe Survival Saga. I know it shows Rival Universe, but that's just the team that I had here previously. But, yeah, everybody's looking relatively good. And there was no way in the world that I'm running these units without these two at all. But, let's go ahead and go in. Uh, also, um, you guys might notice that I have uh, MUI Goku up to 14 stars now because off screen I summoned on the banner again, managed to pull him, and then I had enough to get um, the uh, multi Z power. So I used that on him. That got him up to 14, so he's done as well. But yeah, um, I actually have high hopes for these units because, again, as of late, free to play units have been really, really good. Okay, I'm not using Goku in this battle. There's no reason to. Uh. Rillin and Tien, on the other hand, actually, yes, would be perfect. So, lead off with you, and then throw you guys, because they naturally cover, you know, purple, and um, if they decide to bring in him, but he also covers uh, Vegeta. So, yeah, we'll make this work. We'll make this work. Uh, hopefully, it'll turn out well, but we do have a complete counter. The only thing that I have to worry about right now is endurance. So, as long as I'm able to knock out future Gohan, or at least isolate him, then I should be okay. But if not, then it's going to be very, very troublesome. Hey, I see him. Krillin. I'll take advantage. I mean, there's not really much else I can do. <laughs> Honestly, because if I did, Keyblast Souls getting cover changed into Oblivion. Cool. Destructo Disc! That did really good damage. I'm standing right here. Bam. I knew that should go down to one. Okay. He's gonna pay. Alright, wait. No, oh, auto win. <laughs> so there's that. Back. Keep it going. Okay, because I really, really need to use this right now. Okay, cool. I thought it was going to cover change, but he actually didn't. I'm really not trying to have this be like a... No. No. Hmm. There we go. It dropped at the last second. I just barely ran out. Um, I'll let him take the hit. I'll let him take it because Huge Gone's almost dead. He can't pop his main if he wants to. Uh, but as long as I'm able to um, deal damage to Future Gohan, then I should be okay. Like I said, I just have to knock out that little bit of health that he has left, and we should be okay. Uh, okay. Let's do this. I'm trying to get out of there. I'm going to have to take these hits. Oh, dropping figures. Resilient Warrior. He is a defense type, but I'm not going to risk it. So, uh, and plus, it finally gives me the opportunity to use TN. So, like I said, I let UI Goku go. But it is what it is. Bopping this just to be safe. So, that sidestep. Everything is sealed, so I can't do anything. Okay, yeah, because everything is sealed. It just made things much more difficult than it needed to be. Okay, it's still going. I was like, can it stop sealing my moves? I'm rushing. Okay, yeah, you gotta go. 
Like, uh, I'm sitting here like, I just needed to stop stealing my moves so I can do something, but there's that. Okay, cool. Like, the biggest threat is gone, because, again, Future Gohan, like, he's practically almost dead. Like, I just gotta be able to knock him out. Okay, there goes the percentage. I'll try to Solar Flare it. Oh, I did! Oh, he's right in front of me. I wasn't expecting him to actually just stop his combo right there, but this dude is really going for it. Like, again, we still have uh, Tien as well. Nope. <laughs> That's direct contact. Okay, keep that going. And there we go. So, uh, we got to see more of Krillin in action, right? Uh, which is fine. I mean, again, as, as a defense type, he held his own very, very well. And it's it's weird because, again, you know, I sacrificed MUI Goku, which it, under normal circumstances, I would never, ever try to do. But, again, I wanted to at least have uh, Krillin and Tien try to have their moment to shine, if you will, right? Which I, I can confidently say they both did, respectively, as well. Um, but, again, in that battle, we got to use more of Krillin than anything else. So, uh, I think... Uh, I'm going to focus more so on trying to get Tien and uh, Goku shown off and whatnot. But again, hopefully it'll go a bit smoother than it did in that battle. Because that battle was rough-ish. Rough-ish. But for the most part, we were doing uh, doing well. If that rush didn't kill um, Goku and Vegeta, I don't think we would have been down and out. But it definitely would have dragged out a lot longer than it should have. So, yeah. And, and again, like it was obvious dude was like just waiting to isolate UI Goku to be able to rush him. Which ended up happening, so... It is what it is, uh, but that was that was a good battle. That was pretty good. Another battle in which UI Goku has no place being. Actually, Tien. Well, Tien does have a place in this battle, but realistically speaking, the dude's not bringing in that Super Saiyan Blue Goku. There's there's just no way in the world. So, uh, let's see. I have to bring in Vegeta. I I literally have to. I think in this case, my best bet is probably using the purple Goku. It makes a lot more sense. Also, this dude is primarily doing purple... Is this... It should be purple, purple red. And he has Ultra Vegeta, but there's no way you're using it. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I really don't. Okay. Uh. Yeah, th this is actually going to be a really, really tough one. I should bring you, because I'd be insane not to. Uh, I gotta think quickly. I'm bringing you, and I have to bring you. Like, I want to get Tien in there, but this just does not seem like the battle for him. It doesn't. And of course, I'm going to try to use the Goku as much as I can. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. So, he's going the endurance route. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, but luckily, the UI Gokus both only have two cover changes total. So, yeah. No. We dodged those. I see everything. Dang, they did good damage. They can have advantage. I need a cover change. Get a cover change off. There we go. Okay. That's one. That's fine. Oh, I got perfect. Dude. Okay. Uh, let's see the what this Goku can take. Because his defenses right now seem okay. No! No! There we go. Kamehameha! He's dead! And bam! Endurance! Oh, darn it. Like, this Goku was going in! This Goku was going in! I need this to tap out. There we go. Oh, look at that! I'll definitely take perfect advantage. That's fine. Okay, so he's doing this in order to mitigate. Or, or, or not. I mean, that Goku is going insane. Oh, my goodness. And bam. This ultimate attack does so much damage. Like, element factor just doesn't matter. No. Because <laughs> I knew it was going to do some crap like that. No. I'm standing perfectly still. 
Ah, oh, darn it, last second. I'm kind of tempted to have UI Goku just get body. Okay, that's fine. I, I expected this to happen. I did that on purpose because one UI Goku has endurance and um well I mean obviously his because it's last man standing. If mine ends up being the last man standing as well, then mine will have endurance as well. But I did this on purpose. I knew this was going to happen. Um I'm pretty sure Vegeta's dead because he just pushed it far enough. Yeah, but we should still be okay for the most part. Uh hello? And I still can't attack. Actually, is it a CPU now? I think dude quit. Like, I, I actually do think dude quit. Thank goodness I didn't throw out Rise and Rush, because I was going to. That would have been a complete waste. Yeah, dude quit. All right, then. Like, um, because I noticed, like, uh, near the very end, it started... Uh, also, that victory screen is actually really, really cool. But, um, I noticed at the very end, uh, it started feeling like a bot. So, but it wasn't like that at the beginning. So, it, it is what it is. So, I had to make a quick cut because I actually had a super important phone call. So, I literally had to cut out the last, uh, portion of the video. Because I, I couldn't finish that battle at all. So to the person who I disconnected against for that battle, I apologize. Normally I would have fought you, but that phone call I got was unbelievably important. Right, we're going to make up for that final battle right now. So let's go ahead and go right on in. But um, yeah, so far, Goku, Krillin, Tien? Well, at least for what we've seen in Tien anyway. Crispy. Like, so far, so good. And I'm hoping that we can at least end this off, like, strong, right? I really want to use Tien, but I've been seeing a lot more people use Purple, Purple, Red uh, within the meta. Understandably so, too, because uh, if you can Zenkai boost UI uh, sign Goku enough, he's pretty solid. Like, even I've used uh, Purple, Purple, Red online um, a few times. And pairing him up with MUI Goku is insane. Okay, Majub is not going in. You would be insane to bring him in. Um, but, uh, not Vegito. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's also not going in. It's gonna be UI Goku, uh, Gogeta, and Vegito. That's the only thing that makes sense. And there's no room for this Goku, but I'm bringing, uh, bringing him in anyway. I definitely will need you, 100%. And I will need you. So, this is more so gonna be along the lines of trying to show up Tian as much as I can. And also keeping that Goku alive for as long as I can. What? Uh, the, you know what? It, it is what it is. Because, I mean, I guess cover change, oh, yeah. so it helps. Time yeah. blast, of course. Okay, pop this. He's gonna pay. You're not doing strike. You're not doing strike, because I'll win. <laughs> Guess who won? <laughs> I expect OG to come again. Oh, you what? Even better. And I was like, you're you're not doing anything. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Okay, Tien. Hmm. Oh, he's not affected. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I tried to get Tien in there. I tried to like land the solar flare, but I forgot like uh, Gogeta's not really affected by that type of thing. I tried to stand still afterwards, and this is gonna be bad because I'm gonna lose these special moves. Really, really want to keep them. I expect Rush too. Yeah. I expect Rush. I'm throwing in Vegeta. Uh, just for the sake of being able to try to use Tien. Um, if I'm lucky, I might... Oh, no. That's going to push it. Yeah, that... Oh, I lived. Cool. <laughs> oh, Rush gone. 
Yeah, this dude's playing super passive. I can take that, that's fine. Bam, bam, halfway. Oh, not yet. What? I'm finally halfway there? I refuse to let all of them down. You're gonna have to take this. Because this special move hits way... Or, special move. Oh, this ult attack hits way too hard. Only downside is I've been able to pin anybody down, and UI Goku just being there makes things way more difficult than it needs to be. You have a special move. It's the only reason why you would just sit there. Vanquish all evil. Oh, Tien is gonna die. Like, uh, it wasn't... It wasn't element neutral, but this... It hits way too hard. Oh. That dude's been getting me with that, though. Oh, there's that. I, I gotta let him go. Like, I, I would be insane to not let him go. I have three special moves. Three. No! What the heck? Dead. Like, it's... This was just a bad scenario. Having, like... I mean, I have Endurance, which is great, but... Again, having nothing but special moves is not it. Yeah, that's that's legendary finish. That was just all around bad. Um, and I, I, nothing against this dude either. Like literally, him having those units helps him out with defense so much, which is why I understand why he didn't bring in uh, Vegito. But yeah, like, and even at that, like he had MUI Goku in um, primarily, which stopped my offense heavily i didn't have the leeway of just being able to throw out a special move because then i would get heavily punished for it i'd have to like try to catch him frame one so and plus dude was also very very patient as well so that also helped him out as well but it is what it is uh but uh we didn't really get to see much of tn which is unfortunate but again i i do still hold him in high regard because seeing how good both goku and krillin are I have no doubt that Tien is actually a solid unit. Like, I, I will get more hands on time with him, like, off screen, but the free to play units are great. Again, that's why I held them to such a high standard because as of late, free to play units have been really, really good. So to see that still be a thing, especially for a free to play anniversary units, is, is nice. It's definitely, definitely nice. But I do want to know in the comment section below if you guys did do those events and you unlocked all three of the new free to play units. What team did you put them on, and how did they work out for you? But with that being said, I'm Inakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.